in case 3 what we are going to do in case 3 um, possibility can be like add a rage comma b or it can be like move r b rage comma a so a statement like this can be there so in imperative statement table starting from add to com this can be possibility for for uh, tokens means in in the in this case three to tokens can be there so what we will do first we will search in imperative statement table token one if we got that token means if its value its index value will be equal to equal to 1 or greater than 1 and less than equal to 9 means it belongs from array to div so next we will check for third number token means for this case like add a range comma 5 for this case so what we are searching if token 3 means this one of 0th position is equal to equal to this equal to then we will search, uh, search for literal means this is literal so we will search in literal table if we got if we did not got if we did not get that uh, literal in literal table then we will write that literal in literal table so first of all we are going to take that whole literal in one temp variable so we are storing this whole token in temp variable so 5 in this example 5 is literal and its corresponding address is literal count and we are storing that literal in literal table over here if we got that literal over here then we have to simply write in file means first of all we will write in temporary variable then in last we will store that in file so here we are storing that in temporary variable and its corresponding address through j if the third token is not literal then it can be symbol so for that case we will execute else part so for, uh, so we will search in symbol table token 3 if we did not get that symbol in symbol table so first we will store that um, symbol in temp variable and its corresponding address using symbol count then we will store that symbol in symbol table if we got that uh, symbol in symbol table in that case simply we will write that symbol in file so first of all we will write in temp variable and in last we will store that in file so token uh, work of token 
3 has been completed. Now we will work on token 2. It can be only registered. Token 2 can be registered. So for that we are neglecting this comma because if we will not uh, neglect that comma comma then uh, we can't find that uh, registered in register table so for that we are taking a string length of token 2 and minus 1 and we are placing backslash 0 means we are neglecting that comma now if i is equal to equal to 7 means first token was if first token was conditional statement it can be na it in case of bc i value will be 7 example for this can be A, B, C and like that it can be anything assume anything so here if i is equal to equal to 7 that example will be like this five like this so if i is equal to equal to 7 then we will search for second token if it will be conditional statement then its its index will be stored in j else we will search in register table means we are thinking that it is like this add a page and b so we are searching in register table and in last we are writing final line for that means here we are writing in fp2 means output file and first token will be imperative statement and its corresponding address that is stored in i and this is for register location of register index of register and for this we store um, you remember that uh, we have been stored in temp variable that whole thing for symbol or literal so we will print over here right now we have been covered case for add to div now we will consider case of dc declarative statement so we will first search what will be declarative statement like this it can be a dc and 5 it can be like this so we are searching for first token 2 if it is dc then we are searching first symbol that a is in symbol table or not if not then we are storing that in symbol table and we are incrementing symbol count and we are giving it also address of that a because you seen that now in this case we are also storing address means location counter so here we are also assigning location counter if we did not get that token one means symbol in symbol table then what we will do 